What up guys? So today we're gonna take care of that issue. I have a great idea of what's going on. I am sorry for the freak out. I'm new to the two stroke world, okay? Four strokes I'm familiar with. I understand how they behave, why they behave if something goes wrong. This is probably why this is happening. For me, completely building a bike from the ground up, brand new performance, everything, and for it to hit 12 mile an hour, I'm freaking out. I'm like, what's this? It's gotta be this, meh, meh, meh. No, I overlooked something and I'm pretty sure that's it. The fuel. So when I got this bike, the carburetor is a 21 millimeter CP carburetor and it came with a 100 main jet and a 40 slow jet. For the displacement of that motor with the pipe on it, I knew that was too small of a jet. And I just was not sure what to up jet it to. The biggest one I have is a 118 in my kit. So I'll throw that in there and I'll order another bigger kit if I need to way too much fuel i'm just pretty sure it's getting way too much fuel because my plugs they're pretty fouled up those plugs when i take them out from all the oil is just saturated it is saturated in oil i can shake the plug and oil just drips off of it i am spitting oil out of my pipe currently still even though i'm running a 36 to 1 ratio i'm running a 36 to 1 compared to a 32 to 1 which i started out with which was way too much oil in my gas as well so Let's just get right into what we're doing, man. But it's going to rain for the next two, three hours. It's going to rain, so I can't go to the shop. And I need to go to the shop because I keep breaking these dang spark plug caps. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's really dark in here, especially with the clouds and everything. So, but you can see, I keep breaking these back to back, man. That little piece in there that connects to the tip of your spark plug keeps ripping out of place every time I replace this thing. I got rid of that orange stock one after I broke that one. I got this one put in there, and then on, when I went to go plug chop it, I immediately broke it again. I keep breaking these things. I got to be gentle, man. I'm too aggressive taking them off, but I never broke one on this thing over here. So, yeah, we got to wait for the shop to open and the rain to clear up a little bit so I can get a new one of those. For now, I just want to go ahead and get this main jet swapped in that carburetor, and I'm going to go with a 110, like I said, because that seems good. Now, it might be a little bit more rich, but this right here should put me back to where I need to be to a normal operating scooter that goes more than 12 miles per hour. <laughs> so let's get that thing swapped in there. Get ahead of the game. Change of plan. He's open right now. I didn't even look at the time. Sweet. I just gave him a call. I'm going to shoot up to the shop right now and pick up that new spark plug cap. Let's beat that rain, son. Kyle Tyler's still running beautiful as ever. She's not, not getting love. She's definitely still getting love. She's just in the background, but... She's still good to go, guys. I'm pissing off everybody on the way here. Don't care. We made it. Hell yeah, this thing scoots still, boy. Two fresh cappies. Let's get back to the crib, man. Now, I don't feel like taking that carburetor completely off with the throttle cable and everything off and all that fun stuff. So, I'm just going to disassemble the intake. Then I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to flip the carb upside down and swap in those jets like that. All right, there's our main fuel jet right there. And with this, it's a hexagonal uh, jet. So you gotta use a wrench, a little tiny wrench to get that off. But uh, that's a 118 jet in there right now. And we're swapping this to a 110. So let's get her done. The 110 jet is in there. I like this clear float bowl too, because it really does show you what's going on. And it does not leak so far. It looks kind of cool. I'm gonna see how long I can run into this for. I like it. Got everything hooked back up. Got the new spark plug cap on. I gotta prep my plug real quick. I am using a NGK BR8, by the way. And what I mean by prep is, one, this is too big for the plug cap, so you gotta use a pair of pliers and just twist this off so you can get to the small end. And two, this uh, plug seal that comes on the plug itself when it's new is replaced by that temp gauge sensor. That takes place of the seal. So you do those two things, when bam, and you put it up on there. Everything is said and done. I got all the wires hooked back up to the temp gauge, got the spark plug in there. The carburetor is hooked back up. Everything is done. By the way, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, let's get there. Yeah, you can see it dripping out right now. If I take my finger too. Look at that, man. I hope that's just from too big of a jet. And I dropped it to a 36 to 1, but this is still happening. But we got the fresh plug. We got everything in there. Temp gauge is on. This is it. Let's start it back up, baby. Let it warm up for a minute. 
definitely reaches a higher RPM now just revving out on the throttle. Yeah, that's definitely much higher than it was. Tubs are looking good. 109, 110 is climbing, but you know, nothing crazy. It's still spitting oil a little bit. I think I'm still a little rich on the oil, but that's a lot better than what it was. All right, I just took it for a test run because honestly that tape on my helmet is just, it's just not working out. So I do feel bad because you weren't there for when it ran, but it did run better. It did run better, but I'm still really disappointed because it only goes like 15, like the speed went up. It went to like 15, maybe 18 mile an hour. My speedometer is broken still, but 15 to 18 mile an hour and it'll get on that pipe. Look, it's still spitting oil too. So I got to drop that oil ratio again because there's no way. I don't know why it's spitting that much oil, but it does pick up faster. So leaning it out did do good. And the temps didn't even get that high 185 that's with it shut off too so it just doesn't hold on to that pipe man it does not build enough pressure to get on that thing it just won't get on it man it won't get up and go i mean it went faster when i held it down when i held the throttle down for a longer period of time it did pick up faster but this thing just won't pull it won't pull so back to the garage it's the throttle cable holy shit man it's the throttle cable the whole time this janky throttle cable as you can see because it was too long when i had it and i just made it fit when i was riding it sitting down on the back just like this using my hand to pull on the throttle to pull it up this thing pulled this thing pulled like it was supposed to yeah who would have thought that man so now now i gotta figure out how long this stock crappy throttle cable is and get a shorter one Jeez, yeah, it kind of runs crappy still, but it pulls and it pulls hard like it's supposed to. I'm only getting up to like 25 because I got to figure out the jetting from there. But it's that damn throttle cable the whole time. Thank God, man. The problem is figured out. I am really happy, actually. I'm relieved. I'm disappointed, frustrated, but I'm happy that it's, it's the throttle cable. Because when I, like I said, when I sit on that bike and I pull up on it, and I pull up to where it opens up all the way, this thing works. It works like it's supposed to. I actually got to about 30 mile an hour. Like I said, the speedometer's broken, but I'm going, I know butt dyno speeds by now. It's about 30 and it sputters out. So I'm gonna give it a bigger jet, go run it, sitting on it and pulling on the throttle cable again. I'm gonna work with this thing right now and see if I can get more out of it. Let's do this. So I got the 112 fuel jet in there. I bumped it up two fuel jets and I'm giving you this so you can see how ridiculous this is. So. From here on out, I'm gonna have to tune this bike by pulling up on this throttle cable and sitting on the back of it until I get that figured out. But it does work for now. So, hey, I bumped it up one fuel jet size bigger because it seemed to sputter out, but let's see your start up. Fires right up, good. So like I said, it has one bigger fuel jet in it right now. We're gonna go see what she does. We're gonna bust the left. Let's go, baby. It does run. probably looking at me like I'm crazy nothing we can do about it I don't know if it likes more fuel I put a 112 in there um, Temps are colder though, so. I blew through that stop sign, oh well. <laughs> okay. 
One more pool. I think it wants less fuel. Yeah, because the temps are a lot lower than before. Um, it, it doesn't feel better at all. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it down to 108 and see if it performs better because it's performing a little bit worse right now. main jet is in the carburetor right now so I'm just gonna go pull around a little bit and see how she performs to this one this thing absolutely rips I got it right when it gets on that pipe it goes it goes one more time boys this thing rips Turns out this thing is a bit of an animal, an absolute animal, man. Throttle cable was an issue the whole time. What I'm cruising, just, I don't know, just low speeds or from a dead stop. And I yank up on that throttle cable, it gets up on that pipe. And when it starts to really get into it, boy, she flies, she rips. In a block and a half, I wanna say in a block and a half of difference. Dude, I got up, I got up to at least 40, 45 no time no problem at all this thing pulls and it pulls hard and it keeps going too the revs keep going up and up and up i was letting off the throttle one because the stop signs two because let's just take it easy for a minute but boys she absolutely rips this it does run right to everybody who said i couldn't do this that i was an idiot that all that my bike is quick boy I just gotta get that throttle cable figured out. Cool, of course there's more tuning to do. I'm not just dropping it off there, it's good to go. No, I'm gonna really dial this thing in, but I know for a fact that this thing rips. That's what matters the most to me. Sweet. So, this is where I'm gonna end it off today, boys, but what an accomplishment. Today marks the day where I know for a fact that it's, it's good. This thing is quick, seriously quick. So thank you for watching this build. It's not done. There's still a lot of tuning to do, but we did it. It happened. <laughs> so sweet. I'll be around. This bike is around. Till next time.